Second Samuel um, five six through eight. David now led his troops to Jerusalem to fight against the Jebusites who lived there. You'll never come in here, they told him. Even the blind and lame could keep you out, for they thought they were safe. They thought they were safe because of their wall. Even if he got in, they thought their troops could outnumber him and protect themselves. Oftentimes, the wall was the first line of defense. People couldn't get past the wall. We see this in Joshua with Jericho. But God can break through these walls. And David knew that. And the way they're mocking David, we see in the later verse his reaction, which isn't too positive. The blind and the lame could keep you out. This isn't boastful against their wall. It's a straight up mockery of David and him as a military leader and king. Very discouraging. The enemy is going to try to discourage us in such a way. Verse 7. But David said to his troops, Defeated. But David and his troops defeated them and captured the stronghold of Zion, now in the city of David, in Jerusalem. Um, this, being the city of David meant the capital was moved there, which it would be. And it would stay there the remaining time. Even after the split, the capital of Judah would remain in Jerusalem. It would be the foundation and place for the temple. And be the center of Israel and Jewish faith. Even up until Christ's time. Because the temple would be rebuilt there. And it's still key focus today. And religion. Verse 8. When the insulting message of the defenders of the city reached David, he told his troop, Go up through the water tunnel into the city and destroy those lame and blind Jubasites. How I hate them. Th that is... The origin of saying even the blind and lame could conquer you. Okay, so David's, uh, I think he's acting out of anger rather than well, he should be acting here. But they go up through the water, which is one of the smartest ways to do it. Um. Because you cut off that passageway to get to it, you die. It works in, in the Holy Land because it's so dry. And so you cut off that, you die of lack of water. Or they can go through it if you don't. So it's a double risk. The only way this would often survive as if there was a natural spring built around where they were which God still would have got them in to defeat that um, David's doing this because he was mocked and um, it's important to know that vengeance is the Lord's not ours The blind, lame and the blind weren't the ones saying this, that they suffered. Um, sometimes we can make judgments that other people suffer that make no sense because it's out of anger, just as David did. 